Hey, today we're gonna to talk about how you can secure your LastPass like a pro, so let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about LastPass for a second. So if you're not familiar with this or you're just getting started with it, LastPass is a great tool for uh, creating a repository for all of your passwords, but more importantly, it lets you have different passwords for all of your accounts. And this is really, really, really important. Um, I've used LastPass for a lot of different things. I actually have just recently gone away from LastPass to another password manager system, but I still recommend LastPass to a lot of users because it's very user friendly uh, and it just it just helps secure a lot of different systems. Um, but the key to LastPass is the access to the vault itself, right? So if you picture LastPass like a vault and you put all your usernames and passwords into it, and again, ideally, the ultimate goal is that you start to have different passwords for different systems. But if you're just getting started with LastPass, just start putting your username and passwords into the vault and off you go. So then, how do you lock the vault? What's the combination on it? And how do you make sure hackers don't get into it? So LastPass is a cloud-based product. You don't, it's completely free for, per, for personal use. And you can then secure your passwords using their product. But if somebody knows your LastPass username and password, they would then be able to break into everything. So what you need to do is you need to have a strong username and password. That's step one on LastPass. And your password, it needs to be hopefully unique. You've never used it for anything else. And ideally think of a passphrase, so a sentence, um, use different numbers and characters and stuff, but make it a very, very strong uh, passphrase and don't use it anywhere else. The only place you use it is on LastPass. The next thing you have to do is look at a multi-factor system. So you can either do like a YubiKey, which is, which is what I highly recommend. It's a hardware token to protect your account, uh, but you can also do things like a SMS protection or a um, Google app type protection. If you use an SMS protection, we're starting to see uh, attackers get more and more sophisticated and actually hijacking SMSs. A couple different ways of doing this. The most popular is calling up your cell phone provider and getting the phone number moved to a cell phone that the hacker has in their possession. And that's relatively easy to do. And then if they know your username and password and they know uh, and they have access to your phone number, then they can get access to your LastPass. And especially since you're putting all your usernames and passwords into LastPass, that can really open up a huge can of worms into what they could get access to. So uh, that's where a hardware token, uh, using an authenticator app, something like that, will really go a lot further on how to protect your vault. So what, let's go jump over to the computer. I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a LastPass account really fast and how to lock it down. So we're gonna take a look at all the security settings that you're gonna wanna take a look at and how to make sure that your LastPass is properly secured. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my LastPass account here, just a demo account that I'm doing for you guys. Um, and I recommend using any kind of password vault system. I'm just using LastPass as an example. So password vaults are really great for a secure place to store your passwords, and especially getting you to the stage of having unique passwords for every single website, because you just have to log into your password vault and your password vault logs into everything else for you. So let's get this set up. This uh, account is only set up with a username and password right now. So we'll go ahead and set up with a two-factor authentication. So we'll go account settings, and then we'll go to security or multi-factor options. And then here's your list of options that are for free. If you have uh, LastPass Premium, you can use like a YubiKey or fingerprint scanner. But these free options, if you have a free account, you get the like Google Authenticator and LastPass Authenticator. If you don't want to use YubiKey or, or um, you want to use some kind of other authenticator, LastPass Authenticator is a great one, Google Authenticator is another one, make sure you at least use something. You don't want to have just a username and password securing your LastPass or any password manager. So we're going to go ahead and actually set up the Google Authenticator, but we're going to use the YubiKey. So I have it connected to the computer already. I'm going to go ahead and hit Google Authenticator, and I'm going to enable this and view the barcode. I need to enter my password to verify that I am who I say I am and it's gonna show me the QR code. Instead of using the Google Authenticator on my phone, I'm gonna launch the YubiKey Authenticator on my computer and actually scan this code. So I've launched the Authenticator, I have the key plugged into my computer, I'm gonna hit Add, it scans the screen, and it finds a QR code and enters the information that we need. So we go ahead and add, and there's the code. So now if we hit OK and Update, it asks for my master password one more time, and then now it asks for that Google Authenticator code, which is actually in the YubiKey Authenticator. So we hit copy, paste, and hit submit. And then now the account is locked down using the YubiKey. So let's go ahead and log out and actually see how logging in would work. So here I'm at a fresh screen. I log in with my username and password. It 
it says, please enter the account code. So I, I have the YubiKey here. Keep in mind, if I unplug the key, there's no code showing up on the screen. As soon as I plug the key into the computer and uh, load it on the screen, it will show me the codes. Same thing for my cell phone. If I plug it into my cell phone and load the YubiKey Authenticator app, it would show these codes as well. So it stays on that physical token, on the physical key. So we'll go ahead and copy that, paste it into here, and authenticate. And now I'm in my vault. So that's how you can secure it using the Google Authenticator. There's a couple different options here for uh, how you want to do multi-factor authentication. Um, if you did want to do this YubiKey one, if you did have premium, that's using the, the actual uh, YubiKey plugged into the computer and you can uh, authenticate just having it uh, plugged with your browser. Basically your browser will ask the the key for code and you just tap the gold disk on it and it passes the code down to the browser and it authenticates. One, you need premium for LastPass to do that. And two, I don't find that's very helpful for remote desktops or virtual machines, or even um, if my computer doesn't have the right peripherals on it, right? So sometimes I flip between Macs and PCs and trying to find out if it has USB A or C or whatever. I just find it a, a pain to be able to find a, a plug it, to plug it into and then push that disk. Where with the YubiKey Authenticator, um, I still have to either find a port on my computer or I can use the port on my phone. I can load the Authenticator app and I get the code and then I just enter the code in. So I just find that it's a little bit more versatile uh, when it comes to um, getting the code into the computer, especially again on remote computers or virtual machines, which I'm in quite frequently. One thing you'll notice here is that I only have one key authenticated into the system. So you can actually, if you're, if you're fast enough, you can have that QR code onto two keys um, and then you could uh, like save it, store it somewhere, the second key somewhere safe, right? So if you lose your first key, you'd still have a way in. But the way LastPass does their multi-factor authentic authentication is that they can actually, dis you can disable it just by getting access to your email. Um, so this goes back to like, what is the weakest link in your security? And in this case, in my opinion, it would be your email. So you'd wanna make sure you've locked your email down properly. So I have a video on how to lock your Gmail account down properly using YubiKeys and making sure that that gets locked. Um, because you can actually disable the two-factor authentication if you have access to the Gmail account. I'll give you a quick demo of that now just so you guys have that. So if I go ahead and log out, and here's my last pass, and again, having a physical token is great, uh, but if you've lost it, or more importantly, if a hacker has access to your password, they'll be able to do this. They can hit your username and password, they hit login, and then they can say, if you've lost your device, click here to disable the multi-faction. Uh, the multi-factor authentication. So you can click that link and then they will send you an email to your Gmail account or whatever your email is. A lot of people use Gmail. So I've asked LastPass to disable the Google Authenticator just by entering my password. I haven't had to do anything else. And then now it'll send me an email to my Gmail account and if I click this and click the link within two hours, it will then disable the second factor authentication. So then if I go to log in, and enter my username and password, it will let me into the vault without the second factor authentication. So this is, a, this is a huge problem in my opinion because whatever your email security is, that's your weakest link when it comes to LastPass. So I definitely still recommend going ahead and setting up your multi-factor authentication here in LastPass. So I don't recommend having nothing. Um, and I would even go as far as saying that you should have you know, some kind of physical token, a YubiKey or something. But do keep in mind that whatever is doing your email, if it's a Gmail or something like that, that you've locked that down as secure as possible. So like I said, if you're using Gmail, I'll put a link in the description below that actually links you to how to lock down your Gmail account properly with a YubiKey or some kind of physical token so that uh, people can't get access to your account. But that's how you would go ahead and lock down your LastPass. And once you have all those settings set, um, your LastPass is substantially more secure than just a username and password. Okay, so hopefully you guys found that helpful. Uh, I would highly recommend if you're not using LastPass or some kind of password manager, I would highly recommend something like LastPass. I do like LastPass personally just because uh, I found the user friendliness of it to be very good. I've recommended it to some very non-technical people, including my mom, and she's using it and she's starting to uh, understand how to secure her accounts a lot easier. 
Another thing, just a personal story, is my grandfather actually, he used LastPass in, uh, for all of his password management accounts. And then in LastPass, you can actually set up a, kind of a beneficiary of your account. So when he actually passed away, I was able to get access to his LastPass account because he had put me down as that beneficiary. And then I was able to get into all of his accounts, his bank accounts, his, his everything, and be able to kind of take over those responsibilities after he had passed. So LastPass has a lot of advantages um, to it compared to um, just writing down things on a piece of paper or more or worse, which much worse is using the same password across the board. Don't do that. That's really, really dangerous. Um, if you guys use a different password manager, let me know. There's a lot of them out there. There's Dashline, there's others. So uh, it, put me put in the comments below other password managers you guys have used if you do in fact use different ones and, and whether or not you like them or not like them or what you find about them. But hopefully in today's video, if you look at your security settings, you consider getting a Yubico. It's made your vault that much more secure and then you can really store your passwords in that system. Uh, we try to cover a lot of these videos. I have another one about how to lock down your Gmail account. If you use Dropbox, how to lock that down. Uh, I'll put those in the in the description below. If there's anything else you want me to cover, uh, just let me know in the comments. Uh, thumbs up the video if you found this helpful and subscribe. We do a new video every Friday afternoon. So hit that subscribe button to find out more things like this. Thanks guys, have a great day.